once you know it's in the playlist, that'll be helpful. All right, so last class, Rudy, if you guys remember, we talked about writing the equation of a line. And we talked about writing the equation in slope-intercept form, mx plus b, right? Now, to write an equation in slope-intercept form, the reason why that was important was so therefore we could have, we needed to determine what the slope was and what the y-intercept was, correct? OK, so we talked about how to do that. Um, uh, we talked about how to do that when we were given the slope and it goes through a point, as well as when we were given two points, right? That's what you guys should already have written down for this. Now, in this example, we have a point that it goes through. And, but then, rather than just saying, hey, the slope is 10, the slope is 1 half, they're saying it has to be parallel to a point or parallel to another line. So we have to go back and remember what exactly does parallel lines represent or what do they mean. So does anybody want to offer up a suggestion? Yes. They are going to have exactly the same slope, and they're not going to intersect, right? They're just going to be parallel lines. So, so what's important about that is if it has to be parallel to this equation, we need to know what this equation is. Well, this equa or the slope of this equation is negative 4 fifths. So remember, we're writing a new equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So we know that the slope m equals negative 4 fifths. That's going to be our new slope. Now, the only thing we don't know is what the y-intercept is. A common mistake students will say is say, oh, the y-intercept was 7. No, that's for this line. We're trying to write a new line because the line has to go through the point 5, 7. So if you guys remember, uh, I didn't do point slope form last time, did I? We just, did we do point slope form? OK, well, um, so what you can do is you can go back and through um, to find what the y-intercept is, we can plug in point slope form, which point slope form looks like this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay. Now we know what the slope is, as well as um, we know what the slope is. What did I do? Okay. We know what the slope is, and then we can say, well, here's a point. We're going to plug these in for x1 and y1. So now, when I go ahead and do this. I have y minus y1, which is 0, equals negative 4 fifths x, oops, negative 4 fifths times x minus 5. Okay? Then we just need to simplify. Apply distributive property, and I get y equals negative 4 fifths x. When you multiply here, the 5's. Divide out to 1. Yes, yes. Or you guys need me to go over that? OK. So therefore, that divides out, and that gives you a positive 4. So we can check our answer. We know that the slope had to be the same, right? Do you guys agree that these are the same slopes? But their y-intercepts are different, because this line had to go through the point 5, comma 0. Does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe so. So just remember when you're doing a problem like this, that parallel lines, you're going to utilize the exact same slope. 